listen everybody to the words I have to say Better get ready Because the Lord is coming one day This is Daniel White III with the second coming watch update. And this is update to number 304. Let's take a quick look at today's prophecy related headlines which point towards the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ and the end of the world as we know it. First up today, according to the New York Times, Japan lodged a formal protest with the Chinese government on Tuesday after it said a Chinese warship directed a radar used to aim missiles at a Japanese warship in a new escalation of a standoff over disputed islands. The Japanese defense minister said that a Chinese Navy frigate had directed its fire control radar at a Japanese destroyer in uh, the incident on January the 30th near the islands in the East China Sea. The uninhabited island group has been controlled by Japan for decades but is claimed by China and Taiwan. Second today, according to the Associated Press, Syria's defense minister has signaled that his country won't hit back at Israel over an airstrike inside Syria. He claimed the Israeli raid was actually in retaliation for his regime's offensive against rebels he called tools of the Jewish state. The remarks suggested that Syria's military options might be severely constrained after 22 months of fighting an uprising that has depleted its weapons and stretched its troops thin. Third today, according to Ynet News, the Palestinian Prime Minister has warned that his state is on the brink of economic collapse. Salam Fayyad said on Tuesday that this situation in which we must wait for Israel's Prime Minister to decide whether or not money is transferred to us uh, places us in an impossible situation. If Israel doesn't come to its senses, we will be in danger of collapsing. Israel had previously decided to suspend the transfer of tax funds it collects on behalf of the Palestinian Authority. Fourth today, according to the Associated Press, Iranian President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad arrived in Egypt for the first visit by an Iranian leader in more than three decades marking a historic departure from years of frigid ties between the two regional heavyweights. His three-day visit, which is centered around an Islamic summit, is the latest sign of improved relations between the countries since the 2011 uprising in Egypt. Such a visit would have been unthinkable under Mubarak who was a close ally of the U.S. and shared Washington's deep suspicions of Tehran. Fifth today, and finally, according to the China Aid Association, uh, government persecution of Christians and churches in mainland China deteriorated for 
for the seventh straight year in 2012. The defining characteristic of 2012's persecution was the government's stated intention of eradicating house churches based on information collected by China Aid on 132 persecution cases. The number of people sentenced jumped 125% over the previous year and the incidence of persecution rose 42% from 2011. China Aid, however, says it is cautiously optimistic because despite the escalating persecution, the church is still standing firm. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bible says in 1 John 2.28, And now, little children, abide in him, that when he shall appear, we may have confidence and not be ashamed before him at his coming. You can read these stories in more detail and get more prophecy-related news at secondcomingherald.com. If you do not know the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, may I encourage you to get to know Him today. To do so, please understand with me that you are a sinner, just as I am, and that you have broken God's laws, and so have I and everybody born into this world. However, in spite of your sins, God still loves you and he does not want you to be separated from him forever. Romans 5, 8 tells us that God commendeth his love toward us and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. <clears throat> because Jesus Christ died for your sins, all you have to do is believe in him and receive his free gift of salvation. If you do so, you will not have to suffer eternal punishment in hell, but you will live eternally in heaven with God. Dear friend, if you believe that Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins, was buried and rose again, and you want to invite him into your heart today, please pray with me this simple prayer and mean it from your heart. Holy Father God, I realize that I am a sinner and that I have done some bad and evil things in my life. For Jesus Christ's sake, please forgive me of all of my sins. I now believe with all of my heart that Jesus Christ died for me, was buried, and rose again. Lord Jesus, please come into my heart and save my soul and change my life today and forever. And help me to repent of my sins. In Jesus Christ's name I pray, and for his sake, amen. Now, dear friend, if you just trusted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, and you prayed that prayer and meant it from your heart, I declare to you that based upon the word of God, you are now saved and you are on your way to heaven. Welcome to the family of God. Congratulations on receiving the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior, as you were prompted by the Holy Spirit of God. For more information to help you grow in your newfound faith in Christ, go to GospelLightSociety.com and read what to do after you enter through the door. Jesus Christ said in John 10, 9, I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pasture. In closing, remember the words of the Lord Jesus Christ in Matthew 24:42. Watch therefore, for you know not what hour your Lord doeth come. Matthew 24:44 says, Therefore be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not the Son of Man cometh. Now let us join, dear friend, in the prayer of John the Revelator when he prayed, Even so come, Lord Jesus. God bless you. You got to get 